Well, here we're going to see, can we draw this cone and sphere that are in contact? Okay, now there's a few ways we can put this together. What I'm going to use when it comes to drawing the sphere is the distance up from the XY line and the distance across from the cone. Okay, we could also bisect it, but I just want to show these two techniques in this video. Now, whenever we do these ones, we draw the cone first. Okay, that is much, much easier. So, and when you draw the cone first, therefore, draw the plan first, because it's much easier to draw a circle and project up than to try and get this accurate and project back down. Okay, so let's put that aside for a moment. Now, when it comes to drawing our circle, we are just going to do a little bit of construction here to show where the center is. I won't worry about the uh, X, Y line just yet, but that's the center of my circle. It's really easy to draw that and find the center. It's much harder to draw the circle and then try and spot where the, the compass went through the page. So it's all these, this is a kind of a collection of little bits and pieces. So that is a 40 mil diameter. Okay, now be very careful because I'm gonna set my compass to a 20 millimeter radius. Okay, so let's just say, therefore, 20 millimeters radius. It's the little things. Now, it's actually quite a small drawing. So we'll set this here. And if your compass isn't good and sharp, stop now and make it so. Makes life much, much easier and the drawings are much tidier afterwards. Now, I am only going to draw this as a construction line. All right, because some of this is going to be shadowed, overshadowed by the cone. And I want to be able to come back and get, kind of get that sorted out. So we'll put that down there for the moment. And now we'll go up. Now, strictly speaking, your XY line is 20 millimeters up. But we can actually just come up a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly 20 all the time. So this is XY. And we'll draw a cone. Well, we'll just project these edges up, and it's really easy to project up from a circle. All right, so these two come up to there, and we know the cone is 80 millimeters high. So we measure that out, make sure we stay on camera. And there's 80. Now to draw the rest of the cone, we just connect the, the dots. That's not too bad. It's a nice little challenge seeing can you connect precisely onto the apex of it. And there we go. Okay, and we'll heavy in the bottom here. It's heavy enough on the XY, but just to make sure. Okay, so we need two pieces of information about our circle that is touching the cone. Now, really importantly, this is an easier version of the question because we know the center of the circle is also along this XY line. So the center of the circle is somewhere along that line there. Okay. It's solvable otherwise, and that'll be our joy later on. And for the moment, it's nice and handy, okay? So we can see the point of contact. Well, we know the center is up by 50, ooh, radius of 50 diameter, therefore radius 25. So we know it's up by radius 25. So let's go do that. And we'll, we'll use some colors for some of these lines here. So I'm just going to go over to the side a little bit. And I'll mark off 25 high. And we'll send that line across. We'll actually make that line green. So that is 25 from the XY line. So if the center, if the little sphere here is sitting on the ground, well, the center has to be 25 off the ground because that's the radius. So that's a collection of all the points that are 25 millimeters off the ground. And we can roll our ball along anywhere the, where this ball is sitting on the ground. The center is somewhere along that line. Now, the next question is, what happens when it touches here? Well, in that case, the center is 25 millimeters away from the cone. Now, there are easy and hard ways to do this. So we're going to look at the easy way. All right. We are going to line this up with the edge of the cone. See it there? right on the edge of the cone. Now, it's awkward to measure exactly how far this moves if you do it the wrong way. But the good way to do it is to line up the 10 
and the zero. Okay, 10 and the zero right there and get them just perfectly in line. Now we use the zero because it's very easy to measure off. Okay, and use the 10 because it leaves me with enough set square either side that this 45 degree one isn't going to tip. So that's why we do that. It's much harder to see the edge here than it is to see the little black line. So we slide that by the radius, which is 25. And there we go. And now that's right on the 25 line. So it's just a zero line that I'm paying attention to. Don't mind that. But the set square hasn't changed shape. So if the zero line is moved by 25, so has the edge. So that gives me this line here, which is 25 millimeters from the edge of this. Okay, it's worth getting out to know how to do that little trick with the set squares. It really makes it much, much easier than any of the other methods. Okay, so there's my center. Ta-da! Now, good little habit. If you're gonna do this one, okay, you wanna just check that this is actually gonna be bang on. Now, here's a little tip you can do. You're gonna to have to project this center down. So if you give yourself a little bit of a normal, like that, straight down from there, then you can pick up your 25. It's also no harm if you are asked to show the point of contact. Okay, so we will go perpendicular from here. And that's a little perpendicular line, and that's your point of contact. POC, yikes. Now, just before you lash in and draw the circle, do take a little moment and check. Now, of course, that's set to 20 from before. There we are. There we are, tiny bit bigger. There we go. And just make sure you have it set up nicely. And here we go. So I'll just draw it lighter first. And there you are. So now we have this drawn in the elevation. Fairly easy to draw and plan. Okay, so we just projected this down. It's a sphere, so it's the same size. Now, as we look down on it, I'm gonna see the whole edge of the sphere. This is gonna be tucked in underneath, so it'll be hidden. But I will see the whole sphere. So this is all one heavy line. It's exactly the same size, so I don't touch my compass. And there we go. And now that we have that, we just come back to this guy, readjust the 20 mil. <laughs> And there we are. Now I'm just going to use my finger again to give it a little bit of a hold because it's a small enough one. And dash, dash, dash. Because that is a hidden line. Okay, it may not show up super well on camera, but that is a dash, 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 dash. Because this little bit is hidden underneath when we look at it. There you go.